Hey folks, my knife here, and we're back with episode 13 of Let's Play Terra Farmercraft. And uh, what I wanted to do today, or one of the things I wanted to do, was to work on some spirits, some booze. And, you know, I'm not much of a drinker. Oh, we've got some, some maize coming in over here. But uh, we got something to celebrate. If you come over here and have a look. Our lemons have come in. Our first fruit tree is born fruit. So I thought you'd like to watch me collect them. I'm just uh, right-clicking. Right-clicking on the leaf blocks that have fruit in them. And that's how I collect them. And sometimes leaf blocks go away. I don't know if that's intentional or a bug or what it is. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way first because uh, it's only for a short period of time that the fruit's available. I mean, just like with real, uh, you know, real fruit trees. So I wanted to get that out of the way because before we can start in on the, uh, the booze making, I need some room for it and I need access to water. Basically, I, need, I want to build a brew house. And I figure this is a good spot, but I'm going to have to remove a big chunk of this hill now. So I'll do that off camera. But I'm betting that by the time I've done that, the uh, lemon tree will be done bearing fruit. So I wanted to bring you in first to show you that. So I'm going to now go and make up a few... Uh, oh, actually, I think I may have already done... Oh yeah, I made up a couple of bronze. This is just normal bronze shovels. I made up a small batch of normal bronze and made myself a hammer and some shovels and the reason it was a small batch is because that was all the copper I had left. Didn't have very much tetrahedrate left so that'll be the other thing I'm gonna do off camera is I gotta replenish our uh, tetrahedrite supply which won't be that difficult. It'll just take a little bit of time and then I'll bring you back in when uh, when I've got the brew house up and I'll show you how we go about making booze in terra farmer or <laughs> terra farm terra firmer craft. Okay bring you back in later. Oh, welcome back. I'm just uh, making up some glass here. Same way as in vanilla Minecraft insofar as you heat up sand and to make glass, but of course with the extra <laughs> extra detail in terra firma craft, so it has to get up to bright red with one star. Oh, these guys just changed. And I'm heating it up in a forge here. Uh, yeah, bright red with one star and boom. This should be enough for now. Well, you can cook while we do other things. And you can also heat it up in a campfire, though you may have to get the right wood and you may need a bellows in order to get it up to the right temperature. To get up to the high enough temperature, that is. Anyway, so here it is. Here's the, uh, the brew house. Haven't put a roof on it yet. I'm going to wait until I've finished the roof for this other guy, for the main house. Yeah, not much to it. A couple of chairs and tables so you can sit around and have a tankard or two. Uh, this is the ingredients that we'll be using for uh, making up our various spirits. This is empty right now, but eventually I'll put uh, some glass bottles in there. So I filled all these up with water. That's all that's in them right now. Um, what I'm going to do right now is finish the glass. Okay, uh, we'll come back to this in a moment because i got something else to show you first. Ooh, the sun's setting. As you can see, some more of our fruits come in. I think this is peaches. Yep, peaches have come in or are coming in. I see no more lemons. They've done their time. And bananas. Cool. The monkeys among us will be happy. Alright, let's come back over here. Now, I have never made booze in uh, Terraformer Craft. Uh, shame there's no schnapps. So... Uh, I, I know that, you know, I've looked in the wiki and I know that there are seven different types of booze. Beer, cider, rum, rye, sake, vodka, and whiskey. So that's what we'll uh, put into each of these. Um, and the way you do it is you just take an ingredient and you put it in. So 
I'm, I believe, well, I'll just take one of these right now. So I don't know which ingredients it is to make each one, but it should be fairly easy to guess. So beer, I'm guessing that's barley. And we seal it in there and let it ferment, I guess. Uh, what's the next one? Cider, I'm guessing that's an apple. We don't have any apples yet, but we have an apple tree, so sometime it'll, it'll bear. Rum, I'm going to guess that rum is sugar cane. Ooh, I'm wrong. Maybe it's just sugar. Ah, uh, that worked. Okay. Uh, what's the next one? Rye. Gee, do you think rye takes rye? Oh, maybe. Next up, sake. Well, that's got to be rice. Vodka, potatoes. Uh, I don't think... Hmm, I forgot to check. To, I believe we have some potatoes growing, if I remember correctly. I should check to see whether they, any of them are ripe yet or not. Um, whiskey. I think whiskey is just wheat. Huh? Well, that worked. And then this one we'll use for vinegar later. Um, actually, we don't need to do it later. We can do it right now. What have we got the most of? We got lots of barley. So the way you make vinegar is you make any kind of alcohol. And, well, I'll show you. Is once you have the alcohol, then you turn the alcohol into vinegar. So it doesn't matter what kind of alcohol it is. Uh, so we should put signs on these. Uh, into this one, we put barley. Beer. Uh, this one we left empty. This one we put sugar. be rum. This one we put rye. It'll be rye. I'm not even going to pretend to guess on that one. It's got to be. Same with the sake. We know what it is. Uh, vodka. Oh, I'm stuck on the chair. Uh, this one we put uh, wheat, and I'm guessing that's going to become whiskey. And this will be vinegar when we're done. One, two, three. Oh, I made too many signs. Too many signs. Okay, uh, let's go see if we actually have any potatoes. Do, do, do. Any ripened potatoes? I think these are potatoes, right? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Not yet. So the vodka will have to wait. Just as the uh, cider is going to have to wait on our apple tree. That's this guy here, right? Red apple. I think so. Never, never did put signs down for those guys. Well, why don't I do it now? This is... Red apple. I wonder if there are other colors of apple. I don't recall that there are. And this was olive. Okay. Um, eh, while we're here, let's bring in the corn or the maize. Now that it's all ripe. Oh, I got lots of stuff bringing. Okay, I won't bore you with that. We've already done that. Uh, even though it's supposed to be Terra Farmer Craft, there's only so much farming you can watch. Okay, put all this stuff away. And what else was there? Oh, uh, something else I did is one of my viewers, uh, Mark Newman, made the suggestion that, like he was noticing that it's getting a little, getting a little cramped here for storage space. And he was suggesting I could put uh, ceramic vessels inside the chests and quadruple their capacity. And I'm worried you can do that, but normally I don't just because it's a pain to have to take a vessel, you know, when you want to get something on a chest, you got to take the vessel out, put it in your hot bar, close the chest, open up the vessel, take it out of there, blah, blah. And so it's a kind of a pain. However, then I thought about it and I realized that for these chests here where I have like lots and lots of the same stuff, the dirt chests and the block chests, it made, it made a lot of sense. So now I've got these all filled up with dirt here. 
and this guy's all filled up with marble rock, and this guy's basalt rock. So that's a good idea for those those uh, chests where I've got a lot of stuff of the same type. So uh, same sort of thing as if the if some of my ore chests start getting a little bit tight. I mean, here it might make sense to start uh, to throw in a, uh, a ceramic vessel and throw some of that tetrahedra right in. So this is the stuff I just mined during the alpha point. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm leaving doors open. Um, what else? Yeah, you can see I cut back pretty heavily on this hill here. I guess I should want around with sword in hand just in case. Oh, look. Oh, that's the other thing we can do. That's right. Oh, yeah. This is something I've been waiting a while to do now. No, it's not. There we go. Let's take some feathers. Well, let's leave a few feathers behind. Uh, we'll take 32. 32 feathers. 32 sticks. Uh, pick a rock. Fill like 32 rocks. Yeah, you don't... Flint will work up here, but any of these rocks will work equally well for to make arrows. So, And I, I think it's a shapeless recipe, too. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, arrows. We have arrows now. Yes, arrows, arrows. Uh, for now, we'll just stick them in here. Alrighty. And, oh, the other thing is we have string. A wool, or rather. Yeah, I am. Um, I believe you can make. I know you can make it with wool. I mean, obviously, I just did. Duh. But I believe you can also make it. You can still make it with spider string as well. So, and finally, 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 I have bow and arrows. All right. Give me a mob to shoot. Oh, look! Here comes someone now. Hi, Frank. Merry frickin' Christmas, Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. This is where, while I'm doing this, I hear a hissing behind me. Find out that I can get blown up by a... Oh, that got them both. Well, this is getting a little bit hotter than I want now. You kill one zombie, and the rest of them have to get in on the action. Greedy buggers. Oh, look at them all, man! Whoa! Alright, it's a zombie festival. Oh, look, he brought the popcorn. Good for him. Yeah, I like now... I don't think it's in... I was playing in vanilla. And in the latest cut, I don't know which one it came in on, but now you actually get points for the baby zombies, which is great. It's still not in, still not the case in uh, Terra Firma Craft yet, because it's still back at 1.6 something, I think, in terms of Minecraft. All right. So that, uh, that's the bow and arrow, finally, now that we have a source of, a steady source of feathers. And that's the, uh, brew house. Oh, by now it's probably done brewing. Let's find out. Let's see if it's ready yet. This was the first one. Nope, not yet. Nope. Got a little bit while, a little bit longer to go yet. So... We must be patient. Okay, well, I'll bring you back in when that's ready. And in the meantime, oh, I've got more bananas to collect. I'll collect some more fruit. And, uh, oh, yeah, I still want to show you the various roof designs that I'm thinking about doing. So I uh, can't quite show that to you yet because there's one more I thought of that I want to lay out there for you, for your perusal. So I'll bring you back in a bit. Bye for now. Oh, those chickens are pretty noisy. So it's a new day, and I've uh, gone and done all the odds and ends that I wanted to do 
so I can show you what's going on over here. Uh, before I get to that, though, it's actually a new uh, day in the real world here as well, and in fact, it's now December 24th. So <laughs> when I just re just now went into my house, this is what I discovered. A nice little Easter egg that uh, the folks at Mojang have uh, left for us all. Ooh, what's inside my present? Rocks! I got a bag of box of rocks for Christmas. So I thought that was pretty funny. <clears throat> I had a little chuckle of that. Um, okay. So the first thing... Oh, I went and added signs to the rest of the trees, but that's probably not too interesting. Okay, I want to put a better roof on the building over here. And uh, so I've been looking at some different styles here. Don't focus too much on the color. That's just the wood I had a lot of. So we'll talk about color in a minute. So this here is your standard, you know, using the stairs style to kind of step up to a peak on the roof and that. So we don't want to do that because, you know, everybody can do that. Since we're in Terra Firmacraft, uh, we have access to sticks or not sticks, sorry, planks, the terra firma craft planks that we can lay out um, on kind of a micro block level. So we can do this sort of thing. You could also do it by chiseling at the micro block level. It depends on what you want. The advantage of laying out the planks, let's do an example here just so you know what I'm talking about, is I can like lay out, you know, planks in a 8 by 8 block like that. Uh, the advantage of laying out planks, as you just saw, is it's faster than seeing here going, chipping away all the things, at least to do it the first time. But the advantage of the of doing it with micro blocks is once you've done one block, say in this example, then I could just make a whole bunch of blueprints and then just apply the blueprints to the others, and then that would be faster. So um, six and one half dozen the other in this particular case. But but the main thing is since we can get down to that level of detail. Uh, you can get a kind of a finer line, so something more closely approaching a, uh, you know, a, a roof. Now this is pretty steep angle. Uh, <laughs> this is even steeper. Uh, uh, even if you guys vote for this one, I'm not going to do it. It's just inappropriate as the house's peak will be almost as tall as that mountain. Uh, but this would be cool if you're doing an A-frame, you know, like a little ski chateau or something like that. You can do a nice little A-frame. Um, but by instead of stepping up every one you know, every, uh, every plank stepping up every two, you can get a more, a gentler, uh, slope to the roof if you want. So this would be, I guess, more of a modern urban dwelling kind of slope. And, you know, and this one here, so this was every two, and then this one I did every four, stepped up every four planks. And, uh, you get an even flatter slope, almost a kind of a ranch style slope, I guess. So those are, those are the possibilities there. Uh, just, you know, just basically different slopes of a fairly standard kind of roof. Uh, a couple other things I tried. <laughs> this here, well, what I was going for is because this wood is so red, it reminded me a little bit of, you know, a little bit of, you know, like the uh, clay tile roofs that you see in, uh, like in Mediterranean countries and in California, stuff like that. And so I was thinking, well, you know, maybe, you know, with the micro blocks, I can carve it out into kind of a red clay, an angled red clay tile, you know, angling up like that. Uh, instead, it just looks like a hideous abortion. So, oh, well, didn't work. Uh, the other idea I had is that when you look at these, all of these, like the grain is pretty heavy. And, you know, that's p part of the problem here is that you know, if it was clay tile, there wouldn't be all this differentiation. There'd just be very slight changes in uh, slight changes in shading as we go across it. But when you look at a roof, you know, it's, even if it is all made of the same tile, there are some slight differences. You know, you see different shading and all that. So I was wondering if I could, you know, add in some variegation, some variation in the tone and color. So what I did here is these are two different types of wood I'm using. Uh, oh, here we have a cat pushing up against the microphone again. Hi, Bacchus. I'll play with you later. I know, promises, promises. Okay, where were we? Uh, yeah, so the light red stuff is the ash, and the dark red or, or brownish red stuff is chestnut. But anyway, um, oh, I didn't put, oh yeah, you can look at it from here. So from here you can see, you know, I can kind of mix it up. I'm What I was trying to avoid was getting like a checkerboard pattern. I didn't want that. I wanted it to be a bit more random than that. 
but you could do something like that. So that's another possibility. Um, so what does that give us? That gives us five possibilities. So we're not going to do that one because that's just the standard. So we'll do, let's call this the 45 degree slope one. Actually, no, I don't want to have to calculate angles. So this is the one to one grade, one to two grade, one to four grade, and multi-tone. So if you guys want to, you know, put in your votes for what you think you'd like best, then I'll tally them up and whatever you say, I'll do. Now, the other thing to look at is color, or what type of wood to use. Now, let's get this out of my, stick out of my hand, it's causing broke. These are the types of wood that I have available locally. Uh, I think this is white, white cedar? I think that, I think that's white cedar, birch, um, white something else, can't remember what that is. That's willow, maple, ash and chestnut. There's white cedar and white something else. Can't remember what the other one was. White spruce maybe? White pine? Um, so you know you can see those in there. We'll just call this the white something. Um, if we're gonna go with the two, if you go with the two-tone one then then the possibilities are these two reds here. Uh, these two kind of greens here and I guess the gray and the white here. Oh gray brown, light brown and white. So but that's another thing if you want to throw in your suggestions about what uh, color you think would look good on the old house. And I guess we could even look at a different style of roof or a different color for the uh, for the brew house. But let's just start with this guy here. Let's get him a new house. And there's no problem. I, like if the colors you choose don't match up with the trim in the door that I've got on there now, I can just replace them easily enough. That's not a problem. So yeah, that's the home. This is the home decorating edition. The uh, of uh, let's play Terra Farmer Craft. Ooh, we got more fruit, 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 fruit. Let's go and collect this stuff. Oh, more peaches! Quick before they're out of season. Not gonna die of rickets here. There we go. I got him. Okay. Um, is that it? Oh, the, I guess the next thing up. Oh, yeah, we want to check out the brew, brew house. Doo, doo, doo. This stuff should all be ready now. Ah, oh, another present from Mojang, too. Okay, so barley. It turned into beer. There's a surprise. Oh, we didn't do that one yet. So the barley did indeed turn into beer. The sugar did indeed turn into rum. The rye turned into rye. Surprise. Rice into sake. And the wheat turned into whiskey. Okay, so we had this as beer here. Now we want to make vinegar out of it. So all you do is you just seal it up again. And in a few hours it will, um, I guess, gone sour <laughs> and turned into vinegar. Um, oh, and I wonder if our potatoes... Can we make vodka yet? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, the potatoes still aren't ready. I don't think torches... I don't think lighting matters in terraform craft, but let's throw a torch down just in case. Potatoes take a long time to grow anyway, so... Okay, well that's it. Um, the next thing I have to do, uh, you know, until I can get, uh, get your feedback back on what to do about the roof, the next thing I need to do is do a whole bunch of mining. I gotta find some more iron. Like, all we have is this lowly little bit of hematite here. And, because we're, we're at bronze now, we've got our bronze tools, it's time to start looking at moving up into the Iron Age. So, um, I'm not sure where that puts us for time so I won't quite sign out yet but let me go check the time and see if we're done for this episode or not. Back in a moment. Oh man I just realized that uh, we have all this booze here and I haven't even tried any of it. 
Hmm. Okay. Gonna need some uh, glass baubles first. So what do we got here? Two. One shy. All right. Let me fire up the, uh, the forge here. Oh no, that was the right one. I'm getting full up here. Fire up the forge. I'm gonna fire up the forge and make a bit. Uh, a bit more glass so we can make some bottles of it and then I'll be back. See you in a bit. Okay, we have enough uh, glass now. Three is all we need to uh, make some glass bottles. I think this is the same as vinyl, isn't it? You get three glass bottles like that. Just do a V-shape with three glass blocks. Oh, and something else you may have noticed is I've gone and put a bit of glass in the uh, in the old house as well. So, brighten the place up a bit. Alright. Oh, what do I want to try here? I think it's going to be rum for me because I got a sweet tooth, man. So I think... Just do it like this. Alrighty. Ah, it tastes good. Let's try another sip. Or two, apparently. Oops. What was the other thing? Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, in the chat. Whoops. No, that's just me. That's just bad type on my part. Apparently, if you drink too much, it affects your chat. I wonder what too much is. Is it four? Apparently not. Let's try six. Ah, let's try more while we're at it. No visual effects that I can see. And I can still type coherently. Just for those of you that can't read. Oh, let's down the, all three this time. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got jump boost. Holy crap. This is way better than that. Oh, man, yeah. Well, let's see if I can jump up. Oh, yeah. I think I, yeah, I'd forgotten that you can sometimes get potion effects, too. Woohoo! Whoops, that's me typing in. Nope, my chat seems fine. Well, then. Well, actually, let's try something else. Uh, sake. Yeah, let's have some sake. See how that works out. Ooh, it's a different color. You guys stay away. Ah, tastes good. Uh, jump boost gone. Alas, didn't get anything new. What about now? Man, if I could type. That doesn't look like there's any effect. Hmm. I don't think I made that many typos when I typed it in. Let's try it again. T. Are these my typos or the boozes. There, there's no typos in there. Oh, uh, but there's a double A at the start. Oh yeah, so it does. It starts to uh, <laughs> starts to affect things. Well, I don't think I want to drink myself into oblivion what with uh, with a mob out there. And the fact we have no roof here means, of course, that spiders can get in. But still, there we go. We got some booze. We've uh, had ourselves a little celebratory drink. 
And uh, that's going to call it an episode. And I was thinking about, I was talking about, uh, I need to mine some uh, some iron ore. I may do it, well, uh, unless there's something really exciting happens while I'm doing the mining, that'll happen mostly off camera. But the next thing we have to do is someone suggested that I should make um, cheese several episodes back. I'll have to go and look up his name because I have forgotten who it was. And I've never made, that's another thing I've never made in the game is cheese. So I'd like to do that, but for that we're going to need milk, which of course means we need cows. So I think maybe next episode we'll add a pen for the cows and go off and get some, get ourselves some cows. So until then, this is Maya Knife signing off. Thanks for joining me. Bye.